As some of you know, some of you don't know, I'm adding lasers to some of my protocols with that, that I do with Movement Lesson. At Movement Lesson, we're looking for functional movement. Uh, we're also looking that our brains format all of our cognitive abilities based off of the movements that we make in opposing gravity. So right now, a person lying here, yes, it looks like he's lying down, but a healthy nervous system, I should still be able to pick up and come down. They should still have a neutral of this, what I call their absolute horizon, where they can go sort of a down and an up and regulate their systems around all of these kind of movements. If you don't have rotational movements to do all of these, because that's what it takes to oppose gravity, Yes, he can go straight up, but he can't get up off the ground. If he wants to sit up, he needs to start rotating towards sitting up, let's say. If you're turning a page on a book, you need rotation. Development, all development, goes around rotational movements or functional rotational movements. Well, I work with a lot of people that have needs because what their systems are doing, because of the lack of rotational movements, they are succumbing to gravity. And what that means is because they don't have rotation, all of their neural mapping now is based off of going to the floor versus going away to the floor. A healthy nervous system goes away from the floor or can go away from the floor. So you see the same things in aging. People get hard to sit up, stand up, go all that, start using, losing their balance because their nervous system is starting to succumb to the floor organization versus away from the floor. And that can be prevented too um, in a program I want to start right now for anti-aging. But what I found here and there with using the laser is I use the laser power and or the frequency because the light is frequency to excite the system to add to that buoyancy that I need for touch. So this is where, let's say, I'm lifting. Now he, he can move and he works with me. He gets worked on all the time, so this is one of his work perks. But right here, he's a little heavy to going up. So what I would do, let's say, and I'm really working with, in this particular lesson, let's say with the neck, is I'm going to bring the laser in Right now, I'm going to move the laser to the other side so you can see my hand positions, but I would bring the laser in. And once that laser is there, due to the, the equipment that I'm using or developed with Movement Lesson, now I can just lift him totally up. The heaviness is not there. So I'm not saying that I want to just take someone's head and throw it around. That's not the point of Movement Lesson, but I just wanted to show you sort of before and after. So again, laser away. This is where I'm at. Laser on. This is where I'm at. So I can just create a different functional movement in the lesson. So let's say if I really want to work with those neck vertebrae. See the movement that I can now get with him. Now I go faster because he's, he's a, a high-end player. He's sports. So if he, if he was someone that's older, I might go at this level of movement. You want to be able to have a touch to where that person is at. But again, if I don't have the laser there and I go like here, first of all, I'm holding his head now. But see, I cannot get into that neck and create those movements. And if you're watching the buoyancy series, we'll be getting into why the vertebrae act like that. But here, see, I can totally get into that neck and work on things. So this is where I'm starting to establish where I'm adding in the laser into my work. I'm not saying it replaces movement lesson, but I have found that if I want to do certain detailed work, that it definitely enhances my ability to touch and move someone, and that's why I'm bringing on the laser. So you can see, look at how I can bend this neck and bend that out. Look at the rotation I get around the ear. Again, if I take the laser away, I can't get that bend out of that neck. So again, if you're working with someone with high or low tone uh, issues, you can just, again, give them a movement lesson, let's say, especially when I get want to get into this detailed work that I just can't necessarily do or it might take me longer to get at. Now, he just laid down on the table and I'm doing a video. 
So, you know, if he had 10 lessons with me, then yes, no problem, I can do that. However, if I want to get to that right away, so now, let's say his pelvis is more open because I have his neck, jaw, whatever, TMJ worked out, then I can go on and do other things. And, and that's how I'm starting to incorporate the lasers. Now, I also have a new software system, so a movement lesson is going into a course-based series. So it really can help people step one, step two, step three, for those that you've like it. I have the subscription site for those of you that just wants to say, hey, let's work on the hand today, or this is what I need to work on. And I have over a thousand videos on my subscription site. Um, which is great, $10 a month, price of a magazine, or $75 a year. And there's always the private lessons with movement lessons or Skypes. Please subscribe, you'll be learning more and more. Let me tell you, there'll be some serious videos starting to come out for movement lessons. So if you want to know when they're coming, hit the subscribe and you'll get notified. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.